friends, we know why we're here today. We are here for liberty, not guns, liberty. And so I say welcome to Hartford, where the fire of liberty yet burns in the breasts of men. No, not in the State House and not in the Governor's Mansion or in the Executive Offices of the State, but in the breasts of men. Now, philosophers have asked for centuries, if a tree falls in the woods and there is no one there to see or hear it, did it fall? Well, I ask you, my friends, if the fire of liberty is burning in your heart, placed there by God himself, and there is no one in our government who sees or respects it, is it there nonetheless? Yes! Yeah. Mark my words, fellow patriots, Connecticut is and will be the flame that ignites the bonfire, a raging conflagration of liberty that will sweep across this land. We will join with others across this country in defense of liberty with a spiritual fire that consumes all that stands in the way of our freedom. There is a precedent for this here in Connecticut. Lebanon, Connecticut, once our state capital, was the seat of the strategy for the Revolutionary War. And it took only a few determined patriots to make it so. God has a plan for you, my friends. He has a plan for Connecticut. So I say, stay here in our state, ready to fight, ready to fight. He will not test us beyond what we can bear. Like Joseph imprisoned in Egypt, we have no choice at times but to submit to the system we find ourselves in. We cannot challenge the unconstitutionality of every single unconstitutional law. But trust me, my friends, our time will come to lead our state and America back to that promised land, to that shining city on the hill. For the oppressions we are enduring, cannot stand. They will not stand. We in Connecticut are forced to endure one party rule and state acts carried out in circumvention of the people's will. They are too numerous to mention here. We have mayors and cities who encourage and welcome greater numbers of illegal aliens and then organize them against us to vote fraudulently, denying us our own vote. We endure an array of taxes that are so high and so numerous and regulations so burdensome and nonsensical as to make entrepreneurship the heartbeat, historically, of New England almost unattainable and impossible. We endure laws that preclude our own children from working and learning the Yankee ethic of responsibility and self-sufficiency. Well, the good news is it says by scientists that seeds can survive for thousands of years. And my friends, the seeds were sown long ago in this Connecticut River Valley, and they are the seeds of entrepreneurship, ingenuity, self-sufficiency, and love of God. It was the New England settlers' devotion to God that made their work so successful, so productive. It was our founders' commitment to divine law that led to the creation of a constitution to protect our rights. Well, patriots, our time will come. I didn't say it has come. Our time will come. The time to restore the timeless rules that govern peaceful relations between men. But for the moment, we must work and prepare and wait. But if you listen, you will hear the voice from above say, when it is time, Let's roll. Thank you.